Welcome to Edward's Greenhouse. Today we're making a scary fairy garden. If you'd like to purchase a kit for this class, visit the link in the description. Your kit will come arranged like this, let's unpack it. On top you'll find three pansies or violas, two terrarium plants, and the scary fairy house. Your plants and items may vary from what is shown in the video. Take off the lid and we'll unpack the rest of the kit. This lid comes in handy to organize the supplies. First you'll find Spanish moss and set that aside. In one of the little containers you'll find preserved moss and lichen. Under the moss and lichen there will be gravel for the path. Let's leave the gravel in the container for now. In the other container you'll find three pumpkins. three spiders, spider web, a bat, a skull, and three bones. You may want to level the soil out a bit now. And a note on the soil, your container will have gravel at the bottom to help with drainage, but it's very important to not overwater this container. First, we'll place the house. So decide which side of your container will be the front, and place the fairy house near the back of the container. Placing the house first will help us know where to place everything else. Next, we'll decide where to put the plants. Let's choose a terrarium plant to place first. Tap the container or squeeze it gently and really carefully pull the plant out of its container. Tickle the roots to loosen them up a little bit, then place the plant in the container where desired. We thought this tall plant looked like a tree, so we placed it near the house. Right next to the house is a good place for a tall plant. This trailing plant will place near the front of the container so it can trail over the edge. Again, squeeze and pull the plant out gently, then create a little hole with your fingers in the soil and place the plant in the container. Now we'll place the pansies and violas. The flowers have a good amount of soil on them, so you'll need to create a larger hole to plant them. Plant all three flowers where desired in the container, leaving room in the center for the gravel pathway. A note on the plants, if you'll be enjoying the fairy garden inside as decor, make sure that it receives direct light throughout most of the day. The pansies and violas eventually will want to be planted outside and will get leggy inside. But you can transfer them outside and they'll come back in the spring. The terrarium plants on the other hand are slow growers and they'll love it indoors. Now that the plants are planted, now would be a good time to give them some water. Give them a good even water, but be careful not to overwater. No more than about a cup or a cup and a half of water. Once thoroughly watered, 
place the house back in its spot and we'll add in all the details to our scary fairy garden. We'll start with the Spanish moss. We like to hang some off the house, fill in around the plants, and trail some over the edges of the pot. Feel free to get creative, a little goes a long way. Then grab the preserved moss and place it throughout the fairy garden. Next, let's put the pathway down. Lay the gravel down in the center of the container from the house to the edge of the container. Now grab the lichen and place it around the container as desired. Then place the pumpkins. We liked them framing the pathway. Then place the bones too. Grab the spider web. You'll likely have far more than you need. So pull off a section and using the house as an anchor point, stretch the web around the garden. Then grab the spiders and add them around the web. And for the bat, we like placing it in the window of the house. Then place the skull. Lastly, you can use the lid of the container as a saucer for the fairy garden. And there you have it, a very cute, very scary fairy garden. We hope you enjoyed this fall craft. Be sure to check out the other DIY demos on our website. We'll be releasing a new craft all autumn long. Thanks for joining us.